This tiny island is in the middle of the ocean and I'm going to spend the next 50 hours here in hardcore Minecraft. This challenge is going to be insanely difficult because I have no easy access to any resources. All I have to get started is this single tree. So let's chop this down, make some basic tools and craft ourselves a furnace so we can cook up some food. This is going to be the longest 50 hours of my life. Luckily the tree dropped some saplings so let's go ahead and plant them down. Alright, nice. Day one over and we have all the basics covered. The only thing I'm missing is a bed. So instead of just standing here all night, I may as well head underground and see if I can get my hands on some resources. Okay, we found some coal, some iron, and even some copper, which is really useful when you're living on an island. I'm gonna need way more ores if I'm gonna make any progress on this island, so let's get to work. Wait, let me just craft an iron pickaxe. Okay. Okay, I'm hearing mob noises. Are we in a cave? Yes, we're in a cave. Okay, so my guy is moaning and groaning. I really want to make a shield, so let's go and see if those trees have grown. All right, the moment of truth. Hey, let's go. Let me chop you down. Now I have enough wood to make a shield. While I wait for the sapling, I'm going to make myself a chest real quickly. Bro, I was down there for so long and I've barely collected any resources. This is going to be a struggle, bro. I'm too impatient. No, bro. I'm counting on you. Please don't let me down. Let's head back down into the cave. I'll craft a sword. I don't want to jump down because I don't want to risk losing any hearts. Great. Okay, so this cave is a massive imposter. I thought it went a lot deeper than it did. So let's continue mining so we can find an actual cave. Oh, okay, some redstone. We haven't had redstone yet. Okay, I'm hearing a ton of skeletons. I'm like pretty confident I'm next to a spawner. Let's get a little closer. <gasps> Okay, I was totally correct. Let's head back, grab some food and torches, and we will return. Okay, we're back at the surface. I am pretty hungry right now. Oh, hold up. They are very, very pretty. It would be a shame if somebody slaughtered all of them. You can't cook tropical fish. I completely forgot. I'm a monster. Before we head to that spawner, let's do a little bit of maintenance. Chop this baby down. Okay, let's see how many saplings we get. One, two, three. I'm not even kidding. That tree dropped four jungle saplings. Soon I'll have enough wood to start upgrading my island and working on builds. But first, let's go ahead and craft some torches. Head down. Light this place up and finish you guys off. Ah, oh, man, I was really hoping for some chest to loot. Ah, you'll do for bone meal. It's not all bad news, though. Today's video is sponsored by Red Magic. The brand new 8S Pro is here, the ultimate gaming phone. They've upgraded the ice cooling system, the 520Hz shoulder triggers, improved the 50 megapixel cameras, simplified the design with 3D nano etching, and their team have even enhanced the custom LEDs, allowing up to 16.8 million color options. My favorite's the breathing blue effect. They've upgraded the battery and the charging speeds too, so you'll never have to worry about it running out of battery. The improved notchless screen has to be one of the most beautiful screens I've ever laid my eyes on. The wallpapers look unreal, even the animated ones. The new Snapdragon chip makes this thing super customizable. Monitor the phone's CPU, GPU, even customize game filters to your liking. You can even customize your game library, so each library is completely unique to you. The main event, though, is its ultimate gaming experience. I booted up one of my favorite racing games, optimized the triggers, and got stuck right in. The triggers are so responsive, the graphics are unreal, the 4D vibrations add a sense of realism, and this phone sounds incredible. Red Magic software lets you monitor the performance of each game too, so you can tweak the power, controls, and a bunch more to your preference, so all your favorite games feel tailored just for you. Even Minecraft. The 8S Pro pretty much offers everything. Peripheral support, console linking, screen recording, Discord compatibility. It plays all your favorite games, takes high quality photos and videos, and has the most juiciest battery life you've ever seen. The list is endless. The 8S Pro comes in three new beautiful and simplistic designs, and it's available right now, so click the link below. A huge thank you to Red Magic once again. Let's crack on. Let us continue our hunt for a giant cave. Ooh. Okay, this is looking a little more promising. Let's go ahead ahead and raid all of these ores. Just seems to be another dead end. Oh, and wonderful. Mobs. I really need to find myself a mine shaft because the cobwebs in there can give me string and then I can finally craft a bed. Plus, there's loads of goodies in there. In the meantime, though, we're stuck with these tiny maze-like corridors with barely any ores inside. I sense a cave this way. Let us go forth and munch upon kelp. <laughs> which I'm so tired of eating. <laughs> it takes so long to mind it. Oh, our first diamonds, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the twinkle. Oh, the sparkly blues. Bah, I love it. That was an eight diamond vein. That is exceptional work, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and more ores. Oh! Okay, I'm hearing mobs. I think I found... Yes! 
This is fantastic. Before I head down there, let's make some iron armor, some diamond tools. Hey, yo, bro, put your toes away. Okay, I've made it inside the cave. No sign of any diamonds, though, it seems. Whoa! Ooh, our first piece of string. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of iron. So let's go ahead and grab these. And let's continue searching through this big cave. Okay, let's make sure to stay clear of that enderman. Oh, we have successfully found our first mine shaft. It looks kind of cursed. I guess we'll just go ahead and swim up to the mine shaft. An unusual sentence. Let me just go ahead and... Okay, straight away I'm gonna grab this string. So much of it. Oh, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't. Oh, I've stuck in the... The best thing to find right now is cave spiders. Oh, okay, yes. Plenty of string there. Let's go. Oh, no. I was only on half a heart, so I headed back to get fish and kelp and cooked up a little more food to ensure my survival whilst I was looking through the mine shaft. More diamonds? Don't mind if I do? Let's grab all this string, just in case I've got to make a bunch of beds for villagers later on. No sign of any loot whatsoever, man. Oh, I've seen more diamonds in and outside this mine shaft than I have chests. That doesn't make any sense. All right, finally some loot and some diamonds, bro. What do we got here? Golden apples, some bread. Let's definitely grab these seeds. And of course, I'm going to take all this wood. All right, let's head back and grab as many ores as we can on the way home. Now we're back at the surface. Jeez. Let's craft ourselves a bed because I can already smell those phantoms coming. No. Oh, don't get me wrong. Having a bed is great and all, but that's not what makes a house a home. A, a home makes a home, so let's build one of those. I decided to go for the circular platform look. Hey, hey, hey. All right, let's go ahead and fill in the wooden frame, some stone stairs for the roofing, and a chimney which makes absolutely no sense because I don't have a fireplace. I finished building the structure, then added the last touches to the inside. I'm just going to place down this double chest. It's humble. I like it. I consider that objective complete. Oh, I have seeds. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves some dirt. All right, place it down, hoe it up, plant the seeds. Not the greatest sources of food, but at least we have a renewable source because that beats going out into the ocean, killing everything that swims. Sorry, Team Seas. I collected a fair amount of string in that mine shaft, so let's go ahead and make ourselves a fishing rod because this way I can spend all night getting loot. Hey, oh, right on cue. I prepared for you, you sons of b Some cheeky phantom membrane. I'll take that. Let's sleep because I can't be bothered to deal with them all night. You know, considering things are pretty limited on this island, I'm just going to dedicate a good chunk of time to fishing. Subscribe! Just a few hours ago, I spawned on this island with absolutely nothing. Now I've got food growing, trees growing, I've built myself a house, slightly extended the island. However, I've missed something completely obvious and I can't believe it. The ocean. Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? That's a shipwreck. I've just realized there are multiple structures out here. Ocean ruins, ocean monument. We even have a chance to find a ruined nether portal. In the meantime, though, let's take a look what's inside this shipwreck. All right, let's go ahead, open this up. Uh, okay, some feathers, paper. Hopefully this chest has something a little nicer. Oh! Yes. We definitely don't need the rotten flesh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I got too excited. The carrot got me distracted there. Use the old door trick. All right, we got iron, some blue lapis, gold nuggets. Not bad, not bad at all. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. I'm so bad at this game sometimes. Is there any more? Is that is that all of them? I think that's all of them, right? All right, let's head back. I'm going to go ahead and just grab all this dirt and extend my farm. Although I only have a few carrots, it's better to be prepared. Like they say, failing to prepare is failing is is preparing to fail. Oh, jeez. Almost drowned, Jesus. This is the most pathetic little garden patch. Oh, we have a visitor. Welcome to my humble abode. Would you like uh, a massage or something? A, ma a massage? What? First of all, let's get rid of all this. Mm, I do have spruce, but I kind of want to keep the whole theme going with the whole jungle wood because we're on a little island, of course. So let's go ahead and chop these trees down. The thing about jungle trees I discovered while making this video is that their chances of dropping a sapling are actually way smaller... I mean, I say that, you're not going to believe me now. Let's pick these up. These, You made me look bad. You weren't meant to drop any sa- Stop! I need a lot more wood if I'm going to extend my garden. I have a really cool idea. So I'm just going to keep replanting these. And then let me grab some bone meal. Oh, is that all the bone meal I have? Hey, hey come on then. What's going on here? Oh! With all of that bone meal I'd collected, tree farming became a lot quicker. Now I had a ton of wood to get work building. Okay, let's fill in this section with slabs. Now this needs to be a square, I believe. Yeah. I have zero idea how other Minecraft YouTubers build and talk at the same time. Like, I'm finding this extremely difficult to even construct a sentence while I place blocks. See, I'm messing up now. I'm just gonna... Oh! See? This is what happens when I try and talk and build. 
I drown. All right, now I just gotta place the dirt. All right, craft a bucket, grab some water, and place it in each hole. Let's prep all this for the seeds. Now for the final piece of the puzzle, we'll add the carrots, grow these, and I'll just keep doing that until I filled this entire thing with carrots. All right, sweet. So I've got a renewable food source now, so I won't be worrying about food for the next 50 hours, which is perfect. I'm gonna move these trees real quickly. So anything farm related is on this side of the island. All right, onto the next task. I'm going to craft myself a boat and I'm going to swim out this way. All right, this is far out enough. Oh, oh to ruin another portal. This was not part of my original plan, but considering we're already here, I may as well have a look. All right, couple of golden swords, some gold nuggets. There's enough obsidian in the floor here to build a full portal. So that is really handy for later on. Let me continue with my original idea. Before you start wondering what it is, I'll tell you in just a moment. Let's keep widening this platform. It'll all make sense in just a moment. Bear with me. Yeah, that'll do for now. That's wide enough. Next thing I'm going to do is take a bucket of water. I'm going to build really high up. Now, roughly 24 blocks high, mobs should start spawning either when it rains or at night. Now, yes, I could build a mob farm, but that's not why I'm doing this. I'm not interested in the mobs that spawn. I'm interested in the zombie villager. We'll come back to you at nightfall. Whilst I waited for the sun to set, I just spent my day chopping down trees and tending to my farm. When nightfall finally came around, things didn't go as smoothly as planned. Well, this is mad disappointing. I should think there's more mobs on my own island than there is the dedicated platform. Let's get some sleep. Oh! Are you blind? Ah! In the water, 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 in the water. Oh my goodness me. That is absolutely ridiculous. I'm very upset. I guess we'll try again tonight. In the meantime, though, let's head underground and go on a little mining trip. That is so much iron. Ooh, another skeleton spawner. Nice. All right, now we're talking. Loot, I'll take the golden apple. And what else we got in here? All right, wheat. Sweet. So that means we can start growing bread. This was so worth it. Always nice to see diamonds out in the wild. I have been timing it, and I think nightfall is very close. So let's grab these last few ores and head back up top. All right, let's go back to our little spot and hope that a zombie villager spawns. Ah! This was a really dumb idea. All right, round two. Uh, oh, 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 okay, okay, one has spawned. Ah, it's daytime though. Oh, are you actually serious? They followed me into the water. Bro, it's super frustrating that this guy is right here. I'm going to try and build a staircase. Yes. Yeah, get in that. No! No, 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 no. Are you actually kidding me, man? Super, super frustrating. I guess we wait till tomorrow night. Well, I guess today's project then is build the home that the villagers will eventually be in. I don't care what it takes. I will have villagers in this 50 hours. I want to get this thing built before nightfall. Oh man, it's going to feel so good to fill this thing with villagers. Hopefully tonight we get lucky. I decided to go with the most straightforward thing I could think of. I don't have a lot of material, so I had to think on my feet and improv the build. But I think the final result was actually kind of impressive. It really fits the island theme. And as well as the villager house, I decided to build a tiny little boat dock so I have somewhere I can store my boat that I can take out and travel with. Let's sort the beds. Now all that we're missing are villagers, which I'm hoping I can get hold of and actually save this time. It took a while, but... Zombie villager. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I gotta get down there quick. Uh, think fast. <laughs> Come to me. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I need. No, the boat broke. No, don't go down there. Okay, okay, okay. In the boat, in the boat, in the boat. And I need to be fast. Mm. Let's go! Okay, our first villager. Now we just have to cure you. So if I want to get curing, I'm going to want to build a brewing stand. And to make a brewing stand, I'm going to need some blaze rods. So next step is to head into the nether. First, let's dismantle this ruined nether portal and transfer it to my island. All right, let's get to work on that nether portal build. Let's just fill in the foundations. I had plenty of time, so I decided to build a sort of central hub area. This area will lead to the different sections of my island. Of course, I got to work on the nether section of the mini island, which I thought was quite quaint. I mixed it up with magma blocks and netherrack. I haven't got any flint, so let's grab some from this gravel. Beautiful. Grab a piece of iron, stick some flint in there. 
She's ready to go. Let's get a little more prepared before we head into the nether. First, I'm going to craft myself a full set of diamond armor, make a diamond sword, a couple of spare pickaxes, and use the gold from the gold blocks to make myself some golden carrots. And of course, let's not forget a shield. Hang in there, buddy. I'll cure you in no time. Okay, we're in the nether. Ah, this will be perfect for collecting pearls later. Any sign of a fortress nearby is the question. I'm going to head into this forest. Huh? I should probably stick my gold leggings on. Grab some of this quartz. I love the look of this wood so much. I love the squeaky sound it makes. You guys can make for a beautiful build. Yo, the fortress is really close to my portal. How did you get out here? I'm in the fortress. Oh, oh. Can I get... Break, break. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're going back in. Oh, yes! That is way too many for me to deal with right now. Oh! Oh! I'm shaking. I'm actually shaking right now. What the hell? All right, nine. That's a much better position to be in. Okay, good going. Let me grab these mushrooms. Let me grab some brown mushrooms as well. All right, next we need to get our hands on some nether wart. That's the first chest I found. It has nether wart in. I still want to find the nether wart room though. Oh, and would you look at that? All right, so we have 10 blaze rods. We have plenty of nether wart. I think it's time we find our way home. Oh. Hey guys, make yourselves at home. Let's go ahead and make a brewing stand. Now I have to try and remember what I need. Let's make a little chest of preparation. So we have the glass bottles. We have the golden apples. We have the blaze rods, spider eye, nether wall, brown mushrooms, gunpowder. Okay, just sugar. We need the sugar. Then we can make a fermented spider eye, then we're good to go. Okay, let's look for a witch because witches have a chance of dropping sugar, right? Ah. Any witches around here? And we're in another mine shaft. Yoo-hoo! Witches! I'm just going from cave to cave in search of- Oh, diamonds. Cave hunting for witches clearly isn't working. So I think I might just go ahead and use my little mob spawner platform. I guess I'll just sit here. As if phantoms have knocked me off. I'm just gonna have to go to sleep. Well, I need to wait for it to get dark again because witches don't spawn, of course, in the day. So you know what? I'm just gonna use today as a general upkeep day. You know, tend to my farm replant some saplings. I honestly thought wood was going to be a serious issue, considering that the chances of dropping saplings is a lot less, but it hasn't proved that much of an issue. Let's go ahead and replant these. Mojai needs to add that if you just eat like a thousand carrots, you just achieve infinite night vision. Eat your carrots, kids. Hey, there's the sapling. I'm going to make myself a chest and just empty the entire contents of my inventory into said chest because I cannot stand having a busy inventory. So I first remove everything, then pick the things I want to keep. Yes, no, yes, yes. Now, I would absolutely love it if I had looting on my sword. That way, the chances of witches dropping sugar would be increased significantly. However, beggars can't be choosers. Okay, here they come. The mobs are spawning. I think if I turn this into some sort of room and make it really dark, it'll increase my chances. Mm, let's go ahead and do that. I, I could be completely wrong here. I'm pretty sure making things darker is going to increase my chances of stuff spawning. Or I'm an idiot and I need to quit playing Minecraft for a living and go work in sales again. Because that's what I used to do. I was a fantastic salesman. Then look what happened to my life. All right. You know, I should have literally just built a mob farm at this stage that that would have made way more sense anyways i'm babbling on let's fill this thing in look loads of mobs it's clearly working the low light level is allowing new mobs to spawn oh my do you not have anything better to do with your time at night away with you beasts hold up oh yes all right it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one battle between me and you bro you drop sugar you drop sugar any sugar any sugar any sugar Oh, you're joking. Hang in there, buddy. This is way more annoying than I ever anticipated. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back down to the caves. The chances of finding a witch have to be way higher there. I'm just sitting around, waiting to be killed all evening. Let's go, let's go. That was such a waste of time. Oh my god. All right, back into the caves we go. All right, what we got? Ooh, name tag. I love name tags. Really? Two enchanted golden apples. Why do I feel like that's super rare? Or am I just a massive noob? I'm getting distracted. I swear I can hear a witch. I keep hearing a witch, like, do his little laughing thing. <laughs> yep, I hear it, I hear it. But where is he is the question. Where are you? Come to me. No, don't chuck anything at me, though. 
Are we friends? Ah, no, we're not friends. I don't want your glass bottles, I want your sugar. I have a sick idea for a build later on, and it's gonna involve a lot of wool. So anytime I get the chance to grab this stuff, I'm gonna take it. Go away, you little fills of killers. Nothing more intimidating than a small angry child. Go away! Huh. I am screaming internally right now. Ah, I hear one. Ah, oh, there's one. Give me a break, bro. Oh, die. Oh, yes, no. Oh my. One sugar. Let's get one more sugar so we can at least have two villages. So after all that, I only have two sugar. All right, I think we're ready. All right, let's go sleepy time. Zen fever try secure in the morning. Sleep. I feel like I've been literally working towards curing this guy for way too long. I don't even know what I'm going to do when I cure him. <laughs> it's more the principle that I need to finish what I started. Well, of course, the first thing we need to do is ferment the spider eye. Grab myself some blaze powder. Fill these bottles up with water. And then chuck these into the brewing stand. Turn these bad boys into splash potions of weakness. Hey, okay, do your thing. Let's go, bro. Boom. You have no idea what I had to go through to bring you here. Do you understand me? Oh, you do? Okay. I know most people lock their villagers away, but I'm just gonna let this guy free roam around my island. It makes me feel less lonely. Is this world, like, glitched or something? Because I have not seen a wandering trader. Looks like my luck's in. We got another zombie villager. Let's go. Yes, do your worst. This is great. We finally have two villagers. This is a big deal. All right, now I have two villagers. The next thing I want to do is go and grab some ender pearls because the next step will be heading into the end. Hello. I'm so sorry. You seem really upset. Go on, both of you. Nice. My gift to you. You can keep that because I think I have enough. Yeah, 14 ender pearls. That will do. Let's head back home. No! No! That was close. How have you still not changed yet? I guess it takes a little longer than I thought. Right, let's go and make some eyes of ender. Eight will be fine. Don't you die on me now! Oh, this is a wonderful day. I was just about to go and fight the ender dragon. You guys go in there. Oh, this is great. Um, do you do you sell saplings? <gasps> Before I go and fight the ender dragon, I kind of want to buy a ton of saplings. Twenty six sticks. With two emeralds. That's disgustingly expensive. It would have been even better if you could trade me carrots or something. That would have been a lot better. Yes. Yes. What are we dealing in? <gasps> Come on. Well, that's what we love to see. Carrots. Oh, now we're in business. Now we're in business, bro. Yes. Let me buy a bunch of saplings from you. Help me out. In the comments below, what is this used for? Because I can't remember. I feel really dumb. Okay, let me plant these. Breed. I hate that word. Don't mind me, guys. This is for educational purposes. Hey! Bro, that was quick. Nice work. You will work for me and no one else until you either die or you're zombified. <laughs> All right, let's get prepared for the ender dragon fight. Okay, we got our slow falling potions. I want to make a potion of strength too, so let me just quickly... All right, cool. Level this up. Mmm. My gear's not looking too great. What's my armor looking like? Oh, I can deal with that. Check where this bad boy takes me. High into the sky, my child. Hey! Once I find the library and just completely raid it of all its books, I'll make myself an enchantment table and we'll get fully enchanted and then I'll head in and fight the ender dragon. I think that's the best thing to do. Plus, I feel like building something cool anyway. All right, we're still going. It's got to be around here somewhere, surely. I'm dipping here. I've got a good feeling about this, you know. Let's go! Right, now I just need to find the library. He's so violent. Oh! Look at that! That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Of course, I'm going to grab all of these. Quick charge and efficiency. Right on. That's more than enough to level up my enchantment table. Now, while I'm here, I may as well deal with you because you're annoying. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't even have enough eyes. Oh, I can make enough eyes, so that's good. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Don't rage at me. I want to be fully enchanted. I want to, like, feel fully equipped because it's, I'm not just going to be fighting the ender dragon, remember? I'll be taking on the wither and I'd rather take the time now to enchant all of my stuff. All right, let's get out of here. As if my mouse runs out of battery now. My mouse is running out of battery. Oh, there we go. Good thing that wasn't during the Ender Dragon fight. Hey, guys. We're back. You you are jobless, aren't you? I will make you a lectern, and you'll be the most important one of them all. Come here. Come on. Come on, then. Yes. Yes, yes. Right on. What are you telling me? I hate you. I'm just going to keep on doing this until I get mending. I feel like it's the only option. Oh, I'll do this all day, bro. I'll do this all day. No, don't. 
Where are you going to bed? No, 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 no. There's a spare bed in there. Get in there. Go to bed. I tell you what, they're getting cheeky, these villagers. Did you really think you were going to have a good night's rest? No, my friend. We're going to spend all night till we get the book of mending. Okay. It happened. It happened. And it's cheap. It is cheap. Okay, so we have a villager that gives me mending. You trade me carrots. Now, like I promised, I want to build somewhere for my enchantment table. Nobody likes to work in the rain, so let's get sleepy time. Ah, another beautiful day. So much to do, so little time. I want to extend this mad amount. I'm going to grab some of this dirt. I don't need a lot, really. I just need enough to make a sizable tree farm. Come on, we need to do some trading. Where's the... No. He's gone. It hasn't even been that many days. He's gone. Oh man, I have to wait till the wandering trader comes back. I'm gonna make a diamond axe. Oh, where did you come from? Are you actually joking me? Are you actually joking me? No, 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 no. I hate my life. That's it. It's safe to say I hate my life. Being the king of sidetracking that I am, I of course had to move my trees onto a larger platform so I could grow more trees, so I could get more wood, so I could actually do a decent build for the enchantment table. I may not have enough saplings to fill every single quadrant, but if I keep them in fours like this, then they'll grow like huge and thick and hopefully drop way more saplings. That works. Now I just want to get myself some bone mill, grow those trees, Mine the wood, then build myself somewhere for the enchantment table, then we'll go and kill the ender dragon. Let's go down to that skeleton spawner. Making my way downtown, into the caves, gonna come out of some skeletons, I'm gonna collect their bones. And then I'm gonna grow a bunch of trees. Ba, 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 ba. Spawn and die. Probably would be worth turning this into a farm or something. Okay, sidetrack. Again. Oh! I need to... Did someone just throw a trident at me? Or did I just make that up? There it is. Oh, reflexes. Oh! No way! He dropped a trident. <laughs> That's insane. Side quest completed. All right, I'm going to pop that in here. Very unexpected. As I was in the middle of doing, I need to cook up a lot of iron. Get that going. And then we'll use the remaining iron to make some buckets and fill these up. I'll take a bunch of builder blocks just in case. I used all my iron up for the buckets, but oh, that'll do. And then we make the hopper. One, two, three. You basically just create a nine by nine. One, two, three, four. I get distracted very easily. I'm going to make a promise to myself that I do the enchantment table after this. <laughs> One, two. Okay, I'm almost there. I have to clear this up. Oh, you're joking. Okay, so I need to fill this up. All right, nine by nine. Mobs fall down. They slide this way. I will dig a pathway this way. Okay, here we go. The skeleton spawner was working perfectly. I dedicated a bunch of time to just getting a bunch of bone meal. Hey, look at that. Let's make these grow nice and tall. Yo, what is going on? Bro, I'm absolutely spamming my mouse button. What have, what have I done wrong here? Am I doing something wrong here? What What is this? Um, Hopefully they grow. I mean, that is more than enough wood to get a build done. Plus the wood I've already got. Give me these vines. They'll look really Really good if I can incorporate them in some sort of build. As you can tell from my builds. So creative. <laughs> All right, let's take down this tree. And there we go. Looks like I won't be having any trouble with wood for a very, very, very long time. I had more than enough materials to get to work on my next project. So I started building an extension onto that little hub I built earlier. I primarily used jungle wood slabs and then cornered it off with wood. I got something cooking up. It's going to be pretty big. I'm not going to lie. But it will be worth it, as my plan isn't just to create somewhere I can put the enchantment table. I also want to make a little storage section, too, where I can actually start organizing my stuff. Let's fill this in. Da -da 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 -da. Munch on my carrots. Now that I've filled in the bottom, let's get to work on the main structure. Okay, I think this will be the bottom part. Once the main structure for the bottom was built, I then got to work filling in the walls. This was getting impressive, but not as impressive as my Discord, which you should go and check out in the link below in my description. I think this is coming along quite nicely. Let's go ahead and grab some more wood because I have like barely any left, so... This is looking like it's going to become my main base of this whole island. Let's just make myself some panes. We'll fill these in. Ow. You know what? I'm going to stick some vines down, you know. I think this could look pretty cool, you know. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking the jungle theme, bro. I'm liking it. Let's get this thing finished. It was quickly becoming apparent that this building was becoming my main base. I completely finished off the bottom floor. Then I started working on the second floor and a nice little outside balcony in which I could chill and look at the good views of the ocean. 
The most annoying part of this entire build was the roof. I don't know what it is about roofs in this game, but I just can't seem to get it right. With stairs and slabs and blocks, it just completely boggles my mind. Nevertheless though, I did finish off the roof and I left plenty of space for the attic, which I was definitely going to use for storage. I wanted to store everything I collected. I'm a bit of a hoarder in Minecraft, I'm not going to lie. Now, of course, a house isn't a home until you give it a nice name. So if you guys want to comment below what you think I should call this little ocean lodge, then I will name it that and let you know in the next video. I finally finished this beast of a build and it looks delicious on my island, bro. It really livens things up. You know, I'm super proud of this. It looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Now, the next thing to do is I made a bunch of chests, all right? And I'm gonna stick these in the attic. Look at this, this is gonna be filled with stuff. I also made an anvil, so let's slap that down. I want it to be outside. Let's make a bunch of bookshelves, then go ahead and make the enchantment table. Place these, pop this bad boy down. So now we have our enchantment table here and it's ready to go at level 30. These guys need sorting. So with the magic power of editing, let me just yeah, there's no magic power of editing, bro. I had to run back and forth like a million times to move everything into the chest in the attic. <laughs> Here we have our ores, our building blocks, potiony stuff, weapons and armor, food and seeds, nether stuff. And then we have this random stuff I got when I was in the mine shaft. And as you can see, I've reorganized my inventory, so I'm ready to fight the ender dragon. All I need to do now is just enchant my stuff. The only trouble is, is that I actually don't have that much XP. I have like 38 XP and that's not enough to enchant all my armor and all my weapons. And plus my pickaxe is about to break anyway, so it probably makes sense to put the Book of Mending on the pickaxe and head into the nether to get some XP. Oh, I have an iron golem. He had one job. And grab all these. Morning, my old boy. Yes, you know I'm here. Shut up. Okay, Book of Mending. Let's go. Pickaxe, Book of Mending, and then of course something inventive, something original. <laughs> Let me put my gold pants on. Grab myself some quartz. <laughs> I gassed here. Cool. 40 levels is pretty good. Let's head back. We'll dump all the stuff we collected into the nether chest. All right, let's see what we got. Respiration, why? I am out in the middle of the ocean, so... Ooh, okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. I mean, this is like a really good armor set, considering I'm in the middle of the ocean. Oh, I need, new I need two more levels. Ah. <sighs> All right, where was I? Unbreaking and smite, cool. I'll kill these guys for their arrows. Let's go kill ourselves a dragon. Ah, I'm basically breathing underwater now. All right, oh, it's exciting. Here we go, time to fight the dragon. Yay. Let's get over there then. Boop. Let's get to shooting. Let's get to doing the business. All right, slurp up that slow falling. Easy peasy. See how good my accuracy is. Unos. Das. Oh, go on, make it a tres. Oh, too easy. Can I get that one? Oh, I didn't think so. Oh my, I thought they were coming for me. Look at this one, he's so small. Oh. Oh, that's gonna kill me. Bro, come on. I, I literally was spamming right click there. Are you act This guy. A <gasps> then I gotta take that one out. That's all of them, right? Is that all of them? No, it isn't. Man, I have not missed. Coffee don't miss, bro. No, I missed one. Ooh, bro tried it. Oh yeah. Come to Pappy. Come on! Lovely jubbly. Take this bad boy home with us. Guys, I just killed the Ender Dragon. Guys, what did you guys achieve today? Yeah, literally jack sh Anyway, let's get to work on a build. I want to build somewhere for the egg. Let's clear this space, fellas. Let me move this too. Let's put the brewing stand in the main house, actually, for now. This makes zero sense, but it's Minecraft. It doesn't have to make sense. I'm gonna need a bunch more wood, and I'm gonna grab a ton of stone too, because it's quite a handy block to have. Well, it's probably one of the only block choices I have because I'm on a survival island. <laughs> now it's time to actually transform this this area. I still kind of have no idea what I'm gonna do, but it's gonna involve making this not look sandy. So let's get rid of all of the sand.
sand. Man, this is like the last remaining piece. Once this is gone, it's like there was nothing of the original island left. This looks low-key cursed. Let me just grab my crafting table. What did I do with everything? Oh yeah, short-term memory loss alert. Let's make a bunch of slabs. I can remember how to make them. Let's try and make this circular. You, my friend, need to get back up the stairs. Oh, you don't have any stairs. Let me make you some stairs. I'm gonna have to push this dude. Eh. Let's carry on filling all of this. Now I just have to think, what do I do with this? <laughs> gap, gap. I think I'm gonna put lanterns on each one of these. Nothing too crazy. I'm not a show off. Let me go grab a bunch of iron. Let's make as many as I can. All right, let's place all these lanterns. And then I'm gonna go ahead and build a tiny little bridge just towards the farm. Okay, I have an idea. I just need to grab some smooth stone. Mini change of plan. I don't want to build anything here. Well, I mean, I have built something there, but not specifically for the egg. I think I'm just going to build a nice, quaint little something here that involves the egg that complements the jungle building. Yeah, words. Fancy words. I'm going to use a combination of fancy stairs and fancy blocks to create a nice pedestal for the dragon egg. And we'll place her down. I feel like I need to put a little sign here. There we go. Participation award. Everybody's getting awards these days. Society, man. I've done an island video before, and I actually think I prefer this island. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I've crafted myself a grindstone. I want to try and get infinity on my bow, just because it's like the most convenient one. I want infinity, bro. How rare is infinity? I didn't think it was that rare. And I'm wasting all my XP here. Hey, look at that. Perfect. Punch two and infinity. Let's remove... I can buy mending again, right? But let's just try and get a better pickaxe while we're at it. Uh, okay. That is absolutely perfect. Uh, one thing I want to do super quickly is I want to grab that string from one of these chests. Make a bunch of wool. Okay, cool. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just make some beds super quick. Take this and let's take all these with me. Let's put four beds here. Don't need the shield. Don't need the card. Don't need the sticks. Don't need the door. Don't need the fences. All right. So another little room for the villagers. I'm pretty sure one of them is jobless at the moment. You you're employed. You're employed. You're employed. You. You bum. I'm gonna give you a job tomorrow. Bro thinks he can live here for free. For free! The nerve of this kid! Let's make upstairs my bed womb. How much did it did wham? Uh, where do I want to sleep? Ah. Yeah, this is cool. There we go. Let's just give one of these random dudes a job. All right, guys, I'm going to feed you because you can make babies because there's more beds on the island now. So, although I've got to eat myself. See, I'm such a selfless person. I'll starve and watch you multiply. What job do I want for you? <sighs> mm, exactly. We're all wondering. I have a spare lectern, so let's just make this another dude that sells books. Oh, that is... Wow, you went from, like, being the lowest ranking guy in this whole island to, like, my favorite. You two, good job. You two, up your game. Shh, you're actually my favorite, don't tell the others. If you guys are enjoying this video and you want another 50 hours, I will dedicate more time to the villagers and I'll get real specific with what I want and I'll have a whole villager trading system set up. But for now, I'm against the clock and I, I think how they're acting is suffice. If you guys want another 50 hours on this island, for sure, comment below. Let's have a little secret message so I know you've watched up to this point. And that I know you want another 50 hours. Comment something like Metro Boom and make it boom or something, you know? Bro, that would be so funny if my comments were just filled with Metro Boom and make it boom. <laughs> Let's go and explore the end. Bro, I've lost count of the amount of boats I've made. You alright, guys? I must have ditched a boat earlier on. Hold up. That is not mine. That makes no sense. Oh, where's my body gone? Ah! Everything is cursed! Alright, we're here. Let's hop back in. Climb up here. Can I make a trap door? Isn't that what people do? Or have I just made that up? I just feel really silly. This is mad embarrassing. What are you looking at? Hey! Hey guys, I just want to ask, um, I don't like- <gasps> Oh! Mistakes have been made! Mistakes have been made! Go away, go away! Damn! Excuse me, good sir? Okay. Excuse me, good sir, do you know where the nearest end city- Okay. Excuse me, sir, do you- oh, Okay, fair enough then. Have a great day. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at him! Okay, let's choose a random direction. Staring into the abyss. What are you guys doing right now? You studying? You eating cereal? Summer break, right? Yeah, enjoy it. Let's take some of this chorus fruit. Oh! First city I find has a ship. Do I risk it and throw a pearl over there? Oh, no! I was literally like three blocks off. I just want to collect some pearls. I'm going to go straight for the ship because, uh, because I can. Because I'm the one in control here. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Ooh, some diamonds, I'll take that. Why not? I love it, I love it, I love it. Come to daddy. Yeah, I'll take some health potions, why not? I want your shulker stuff. Grab this. Let's go kill ourselves some shulkers, get some shells. Eh, eh. Parkour, parkour, parkour. Yes, 
Yes. No, don't die, don't die, don't die. Let me make a shulker box real quickly. Oh, it's nice to have a shulker box, I'm not gonna lie. I want to take as much of this with me as possible. And the best way to do that is from the top to the bottom. Can I get that little fella there? Eh, eh, and again. Yay. All right. All right, let's deface this. I consumed the materials from the first tower pretty quickly. Oh, I've got something cool planned with all these building blocks. I tell you that now. And you're thinking, what is it, Coffee? And I'm gonna say this. Just keep watching and you'll find out, my friend. And I mean that. You and me are friends. Never forget that. If you're a watcher of my videos, if you're an active viewer, and you keep coming back, I love you, bro. Like, for real. I can't thank you enough. Now, I sound like I'm getting real right now, but honestly, I leave quite some time between my videos because they take a while and I get really in my head about things and is what I'm making good enough for you guys? Are the build's cool and I get really uh, stressed out, but somehow you guys just keep coming back and giving me praise and thanking me and just, like, you can just be a simple, like, really enjoyed this coffee and I, it just brings a smile to my face. I don't know. I need the glass. Basically, in summary, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You were probably watching this thinking, coffee's just breaking the blocks and he's not gonna pick them up. What the hell? Well, here I am. I'm picking them up. All blocks matter. Even you, little staircase. I wanna get back up there. Oh! Oh! Oh my! I can't believe I got this on camera. I'm inside! <laughs> oh! I don't want to move. I need to get full health first. Wow, I'm inside the chorus fruit. I literally would have died. If it was down there, or it was on the chorus fruit and I like moved because I didn't know what was going on, I would have hit the floor and died. That is insane, right? We're against the clock here, so I better make it fast and mine all of these materials so I can get back home. This structure provides plenty of end blockage. Not like that. This will allow me to build something cool back on my island. We mined the whole thing. Let's head home. You're not going to believe this. Look at that. That's really cool. Literally two end cities next to each other, both with ships. That is so many shulkers. Oh, I can do this all day, guys. Come on. What loot have we got here? Ooh. Obviously, I'm not going to turn down any diamonds. Whee. Oh, yes. Look at all these shells. I'm getting out of here. We got the elytra. We got a bunch of loot. Got like 10 diamonds. There we go. See? I'm not an idiot. Look at this. We have a cat now. The cat keeps the phantoms away. Morning, small child. Get to work. This is gonna look pretty neat. Do a staircase up like this. It may look odd right now, but I promise you, by the time I'm finished, it's gonna look pretty rad. Let's get to work. I started off by building a small staircase and then the base of the ship. Yes, I'm building an end ship. I'm bringing the end to the overworld because I just think that looks so sick on my island. Just the idea of a floating ship next to the rest of my island is really cool and really highlights the contrast between the tiny little island with that jungle tree we started with to this absolute beast of an island. And of course the ship will have a purpose, but you'll find that out. I am really, really pleased with that. I wanna make sure that this uh, isn't going anywhere. You see that? Ah, oh, that looks cool. Almost as if it's anchored. Bro, I've not missed your throat clearing nonsense. What can you sell me? One more emerald, please. Thank you. Trade with this loser. <laughs> Birch sapling achieved. At least we'll have one alternate type of wood now on the island. You're probably wondering what's the whole point of this giant thing, and obviously this guy gave it away. I'm gonna kid out with villagers. Tell me that's not the coolest villager home you've seen. It's almost as if I brought the end home with me. <laughs> Let's go sleepy time. I cannot believe the progress we've made so far on this island. I think it's time we head into the nether, get some wither skulls, kill the wither, and make a beacon. Oh, you have a friend now. Really using that gift, ain't you? I'm a little more prepared this time round. Go away. Why is it first time around there was like a ton of weather skeletons and now there's none to be seen? Aha! That's what we like to see. Oh, this is horrible. This is very cursed. Hello! Any luck? No. Nope. Ah, let's loot this chest. Oh. <laughs> I was definitely here. I remember where I couldn't get enough of these guys. I was running away from them left, right, and center. Exploring these maze-like corridors all day long. And still no sign of these guys. There's one. I don't have any milk, so... No. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting tons of coal from these guys, but still no sign of a skull. Oh, yes! There's one! Let's go! I want you for your cream. No! The cream! I need the cream. I, I want fire resistance. So I don't have to deal with these friggin' blazes. Ah! Come on. Oh! That is beautiful. That's two. This seems to be like the place to come. Oh, yes! Bless up looting and smite. We're done. I'm absolutely sick of this place. Of course you all spawn when I don't need you. I swear this game has inbuilt code to just cause gamer rage. Hey guys. Ah, oh, you're making more babies.
Why do you keep climbing up there? This is like the third time. Okay, I'm obviously not going to fight the wither around here because I, I'd rather not have hours and hours and hours of work tarnished. Just get wither prepped. Boop. Obviously, I'm going to need the soul sand to summon him. Okay, two shields. You know what? I'm going to be extra cautious. I'm going to take a bunch. Strength potions. Then we'll use our final glowstone. All right, all right, all right. Strength two. All right, let's make a ton of golden carrots. I can make 23. I mean, that's not a ton, but... <laughs> Let's go ahead and repair my armor. I'm also going to make a potion of swiftness. Enough diddly daddling. Let's just make a room big enough for the wither. Let's dig as far as I can until I feel like there's enough space between me and the giant three-headed monstrous murdering undead beast that I'm going to take on. But for some reason, his corpse reveals a star because that's Minecraft. And that star can make me jump higher. Just Minecraft things, you know. Drink my potion of swiftness. Drink my potion of strength. What's going on here? He's gonna blow. Oh, this guy moves fast. Oh, you're actually way easier than I thought. Oh! I thought he was gonna kill me then, bro. Die! Die! There it is. I just panicked. I... I know, I could have tried to make that super cinematic for you and stuff, but well, that was super easy. And that was completely pointless building down there. But it's okay. You live to learn. Yo, guys, more news. I killed the wither. I know, right? Look at this sweet little birch tree. Almost feels too cruel to cut it down. All right, let's quickly craft that beacon then. Oh, wrong way around. Uh, like this, right? And then you put three at the bottom. For the build I have in mind, I need a little more wood. And thanks to the silk touch pickaxe I have, it'll speed things up just slightly. And I'm, I need a little more nice stone. Do a little bridge out here. I'm gonna build a ship to put the beacon on. I think that'll look cool. It would have been nice to use a different type of wood, but I'm very limited and I just refuse to take down the birch tree. So you're just gonna have to live with jungle wood. And I still think it looks kind of cool. Okay. Uh, I'm really bad at building boats, so this might come out really badly. It took a little time, but I got the main structure of the boat down, and then I started working on the sails, which was kind of difficult because, as you can see, I ran out of wool, so I had to use deep slate. And as for the final piece, let's not do anything crazy glamorous here. Let's just put it down for now. Oh, we love to see it. That is awesome. The beacon's working. The ship looks cool. Look at this island. Bro, are you still up there? Good job, guys. You did an amazing job. Give yourself a round of applause. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and comment below if you want another 50 hours. As always, I'm the Coffee Fuel Genius. Peace. Huge shout out once again to Red Magic for sponsoring the video. Love you guys. Don't forget to check out the details in the description.